What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, 10 I can tell you is again. Sorry I've been gone for it, but I'm back. But uh, I'm a little bit late on this story, but it's like this. I've heard about this story, Eric Gardner. The man was breaking up a fight that was happening. Man's in his 40s, breaking up a fight. And the police thought this man was selling cigarettes. He asked him, what cigarettes? And I said, there, hey. And I saw the video for myself, and I'm sitting up there watching it. And he's telling people, it's like, I just broke up a fight, and y'all harassing me. I keep telling y'all, leave me alone. I ain't bothering nobody. And I saw the video. He said, I just, just, I just broke up a fight, two guys just, like, for real. He said, don't touch me. And there is it, but, it, and he had every right to say that to a police officer. When you, when a police comes up to you they don't have a right to touch you they say they do but they don't they don't have no rights to touch you or find search for your shit uh, you can say oh yes they do no they can't they can't put they they can't search you without a search warrant that badge does not say warrant so they can't search you without a warrant they can't put their hands on you without you giving them permission to and I sat here and I watched the video and I'm sitting up there like watching it. He's telling these people, I just broke up a fight. I just, he, he, and that's what he's telling. The police grabbed him, put him in the chokehold, handcuffed him. He's telling these people, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And he then he's in handcuffs. He can't defend himself. He said he can't breathe. They ain't listen to him. And plus the post, the officer that put the foot put that chokehold on him knew it was against the law. To knew it was wrong for him to use the chokehold because it was actually told by the police it's in protocol order never to use that move. Never to use that move. So they. So they choke him out. They choke him till he dies. Man is a father and a grandfather. And you choke this man out, out of what? Because he broke up a fight and he thought he sold a cigarette. I don't care if he sold a cigarette. Unless it, well, unless if he sold to the mind, then I would have said something. But they didn't have to ch choke him out. They didn't have to. kill him like that because of what they didn't even tell this man was under arrest they just they, they just they just choked him killed him and that's all it is man and I saw a video and it's like somebody said oh that's what he that's what this guy deserved he ain't deserved to die over what I said it's getting worse it's getting worse with this police brutality with the police are going going out and killing some innocent people and getting away with it and I was like this is stupid this is ridiculous he gets choked out and he, he gets he, he died from getting put in a chokehold and it's a good incident and it's against protocol for a police officers to do that and they do it anyway knowing that this can I kill or hurt somebody they didn't even know this man had health problems this dude had asthma you know this dude could have had diabetes this dude could have had a heart problem this dude could have had cancer this dude could have had so much wrong with them you wouldn't know and and, and they said up there oh oh it was it was an accident bullshit if there's 15 cameras sitting around and they recorded from beginning, middle to the end, then there is no accident. There is no accident to that, man, because you know why it's stupid for police trying to hide everything. Oh, it was an accident. One or two, you could count for 25 people sitting up here recording you doing, killing this guy. And it's all over the news, so you really can't say, oh, we, it was an accident. No, pushing somebody down, that's an accident. Bumping somebody's car in the parking lot, that's an accident. Uh, knocking a vase off 
tell you, but that's an accident. But killing somebody, that's not an accident. That's fucking murder. If I go out and put somebody in a chokehold to a point where they can't breathe and I kill them, that's murder. They would have locked my ass up. But if it's a police officer, oh, they be shaking hands, you get medal, da da da, promotion, detective, and all this and that. So them killing an innocent person, they get away with it. I'll tell you this. In my hometown, in my hometown, a black cop, now I ain't trying to be racist, because, well, it's like his black cops are the same damn way anyway. They just like the white ones, too. When they, when an asshole puts on a fucking badge, they think they're Superman. Their power goes to head. It doesn't matter what color they are, they, they become assholes. There's some good ones, there's some bad police officers, but, but it's like, yes, a black police officer in my hometown. Had a, he was in uniform. He was in his police car, his cruiser. Had a bottle of tequila in his car. He struck and killed a 12 year old little girl. And he didn't get charged with murder. They let him go. He, he's walking the streets today. Today, he's walking the streets today. Not tomorrow, but today. And that was a few years ago. The little girl was 10 years old. That girl would have been probably like 15, 16 years old today. 15, that girl, little girl would have probably been 15, 16 years old, 15, 16 year old today. You see what I'm saying? These damn police officers are getting off. They're killing innocent people and they get away with it. Now, to me, that's bullshit how these police officers can kill somebody and get away with murder but they never think about the consequence and I sit here every day every day and I question why do so many people why do so many police officers can kill somebody and get away with it and they should be arresting the real criminals out there man the real murderers, murderers and pedophiles out there in the world but nope, they want to kill innocent people. A guy was on what, NBC, M MSNBC. They showed a whole clip. Guy was sitting, this young black man was sitting in his chair chilling with his family. Police came up, beat his ass. They didn't tell the guy he was under arrest. Same as Eric Garner. He was never told he was under arrest. They just choked his ass out till he died. Put him in a chokehold till he died. In handcuffs. But this other guy that I saw the other night, young black man sitting in the chair chilling around with his family, gets kicked, gets knocked out of his chair, beaten up. Beaten up. Police putting a gun out on him, didn't tell he was under arrest. And the young black man's daddy was a retired police officer. Ain't that about a bitch? I just read, I just read some uh, a news article. Mother sitting upstairs, young black mother sitting upstairs, but uh, getting her daughter dressed for school. So her son sitting down eating cereal downstairs police bust up in her house because of some uh, disturbance or dispute that happens between the mother and her ex-boyfriend police break up in her house grabs that girl's son grabs that woman's son which her son was 10 years old breaks his damn leg he screams her mother, the mother runs downstairs the young black mother runs downstairs to see what happened. She's still in her pajamas. Police grabs her and takes her outside. She's still in her nightgown. And the police fondling on the woman and the neighbors are watching. Now you got all these people watching you. You fondle taking out this woman's breast, playing with it in front of everybody. All this is going on, man. How many store? How many people do? How many innocent people got to die before these damn cities and states realize, man, that?
that this police brutality happens every second. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year, every fucking decade. It never gets old. And they continue on to let this shit happen. They never think about the consequences of anybody's actions. And I look at it like, man, it's a, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. That this man died. That this man died for no apparent reason. He just, he just died. Because he broke up a fight. Oh my God, for real, man. I've actually seen videos where a kid was walking over an overpass. And he was hurt for some odd reason. The couple saw the kid walking over an overpass. Cause you know, them bridges go over the highways. They pulled on the boy. They knew there was something wrong with the boy. So what they did was they called the police. Don't you know the po? This is a white kid now. I'm just hurting. The white couple had called the police to help him out. Damn police tasered the boy. The boy fell off the overpass and broke his damn back. Damn family sued the damn city. Tracy Thurman. Tracy Thurman back in the 1980s. Put a restraining order out on her husband, Buck Thurman, because he was beating on her. She separated. She was separating from him, trying to get divorced from because she he was beating on her. And he kept and he kept harassing her. She kept calling the police to have him arrested. Kept calling because he kept calling around, harassing her. They kept putting restraint. She kept putting restraint out on her. Police didn't want to bust a grape to help her. Till one day he finally, till her husband came over, cut her throat, stabbed her several times in the front and the back and the leg, and kicked her head. This is back in the 1980s. I think it was 83 or 84. And the girl survived. She sued the city. I think it was Detroit. I don't remember what city it was, but it's a true story. She sued the city. She sued the county. And she sued the state, I think. And she won. Now there is a law called the Tracy Thurman Law. And I look at it like this, man. The police does all this shit and get away with so much. It's, it's stupid. It's stupid. But ladies and gentlemen, this, I'm going to show the video in the description. But ladies and gentlemen, tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. Follow me on Twitter on Alfred Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. I'll put that link in there. And uh, tell me what you think about this situation. Because to me, it's a bunch of bull. Peace, love, and Afro grief. And, and and one thing about it before I go, it's gotten to a point where people are getting scared to walk the street and they're getting scared of the police because they're afraid that the police will kill them. They, people are fearing the police more than they're fearing gang members, and that's bad. If the police, if people are fearing, if people are fearing the police more than a gang member, then that tells you the gang you need to you need to get you need to get out the wrong fucking business. You need to start wearing badges because it seems the people are more afraid. To, uh, it seems the people are more afraid of the police than the pe than the gangsters. And that's how it is. So, y'all tell me what you think about this incident, cause I want to know. Peace, love, and Afro grease. Take care, one another.
Allah.